could you speak to how you would create the title for maybe a bundle that includes, let's say, a baseball bat, glove, and ball, uh, to the point where you know, with all those different ranking keywords, I'm guessing, like if you if you think about the keyword explorer, for example, um, you know, where it you know that showed all those different phrases when we were talking about the bamboo and things like that. So. Um, would it bounce you back because of all the different people who are looking for a bat, but not a ball, but then a glove, but not a bat, but, you know, or would that be something you would abandon altogether because there's too many conflicting keywords and you'll never rank on any of the pages? Well, let me see if this works, Mark, and correct me if I'm wrong, but we also have something which is called our or search is kind of an Easter egg, which I just did here. So you can search a keyword and then type in or in the capital. And then um, you can see that, you know, it'll pull up all of these separately. And then- yeah, So every, you can actually string this as, as pretty far, but just make sure when you type in or it's, it's capital O, capital R. Um, and then if you want a phrase as well, like we have, if it's getting a little um, more into like the advanced search techniques, but you, if you have like a specific phrase, you can put it into, into quotes that if you want to maintain that. But what's, yeah, like it's kind of um, what Tommy's going out here is, is, is a, a uh, really good way to just first get a look at, well, what are the search terms that show up the most, right? And then using the Explorer, we can look and see, okay, well, how does that break down into the different, uh, into the different units? Um, so here's one just kind of like, you know, um, really quick way to assess the situation. And then what I would do, and you don't have necessarily have to do this, Tommy, is you, um, then what you do is like, we, you can basically utilize the same flow from here to page one, and you open up a page one and you basically just look at all the titles using Keyword Explorer. And you pull down all of the main terms for baseball, and then the main, then look at page one for baseball bat, and then page one for baseball glove. Um, unfortunately, I don't think the or search works for page one, um, but I'll, I'll check that out after the call. But what you, know, what, what you can do is just do individual searches on page one, and then open up Keyword Explorer, and then basically look at all of those 3x, 4x, and 5x terms uh, to pull down and put into your title. And just to, just to answer on, from the bundle perspective here, when it comes to that, I would not necessarily worry about ranking because you don't want to rank for just baseball bat when it comes to that, or just the ball or just the glove, because you're indeed selling a kit or a set. So yeah. first of all, just define that avatar. Is mm -hmm. this a baseball glove bat and set for kids, for t-ball, for softball, for boys, for girls? Is it unisex? Is it for softball men? Is it, you know, figuring that out first and then looking at the search terms and seeing for for beginners or for five-year-olds or for whatever it is, get more specific to whether you want that. Because again, bat, ball, or glove is probably not going to sell your bundle. What's going to sell your bundle is the, those, those um, attribute words like for kids or for beginners or for softball or for kids, you know, these, these keywords here that he's pulling up right now, baseball t-shirts for boys, baseball equipment for boys ages 10, uh, eight to 12. There's your bundle right there because people are going to list the attributes later on, but what you're actually selling would be baseball equipment for boys ages eight through 12. So focus in on the avatar, who you're trying to sell this to. Then you look at the keywords and see, is there is there enough you know demand or supply or whatever else? Looking at all the data points in your framework and then uh, titling it as such with the, with the attributes or actual items towards the end and using these keyword phrases first. Absolutely. And you brought up a good point, Chris, because I was just doing this on the fly, you know, and then what helped here is that when you do the or search, um, looking for something like this to find that string of keywords for your title for a bundle, you want to add, you want to make sure you have a four in there. So you're you're defining who that avatar is um, with that attribute word. So you can see here. So for example, I you know baseball bat and baseball for boys. You can see that these are the most popular here. So say for example, you were trying to sell a bundle here for this um, uh, for the to this market. You can see the most popular string of keywords here. So this can help you out. Awesome. Hopefully. Yeah. Great. Thanks. She's, she's loving that question. Thank you, Shelby. And thanks for the question. Again, you guys, this is, um, you know, getting specific, getting a little bit more, especially about that avatar. And I'm so glad you guys pointed that out because, you know, I'm not the only one ringing that bell on a regular basis of, you yeah. know, defining more who you're selling it for, because I know that there's other, um, you know, we won't mention the competitors out there, but um, other people that are really just trying to pick out all, all these great seasonal keywords or all this stuff to just try to define products to where if you can define who 
who you want to sell to or who has the problem that you want to meet the need for like this baseball equipment for boys. I'm happy with the search results. You know why? Because what do you see here? Baseball equipment for boys ages eight through 12, 20,000 search volume, a thousand search results for, for things that fit that specific keyword phrase. Hello, that's opportunity right in front of you. So yeah. looking, I mean, obviously you have to dig a little bit more, but that's just, you know, two minutes of our, you know, plug and search there. So um, looking for the avatar sell to, I mean, if even if you have to write down who, what, when, where, why, and how, which is what I teach you guys, hello, um, then you literally define that person and what they need and why they need it. And what is the pieces of equipment that they need for this bundle? And then just using these data numbers to validate that your idea is a good one and that the, the, the search volume and the results have that, you know, gap between the supply and demand and, um, you know, do this for every single idea, every single bundle, even if you're doing single unit, um, wholesale products, this is where we find the gap in the marketplace. Because even if you're selling a baseball bat, using that word baseball equipment for boys ages eight through 12 is going to get you so many more eyeballs because just that word equipment alone is going to put you on page one for that particular phrase to where other people might be selling wonderful baseball bats. But because you use the word baseball equipment for boys ages eight through 12, you're going to get sales before them. So really just thinking about those, those types of ways that you can plug in this data and use it for your, um, use it mostly for that because the computer cannot help you think about your avatar. You have to actually think about the who, what, when, where, why, and how first plug it in here and they can help you with the rest. You guys have a wonderful teacher. <laughs> she, she knows her stuff. That's for sure. Got great energy. Thanks Absolutely. you guys. You guys know yourself as